You know, it's almost as ominous as this entire situation we're in. Sir, what, what can you tell me, Wisteria? She got traded. And she wasn't dead. Don't see, from what I heard, it doesn't seem like nothing we don't already know. She died no. Too. What? She wasn't dead. It wasn't... <clears throat> Sorry. She got medical. So somebody brought her there. I think I slightly heard that she was trying to fight, but unfortunately they couldn't do much of anything. Yeah, that's what she said. That there was complications in her treatment. So she weren't dead when she got to the medical office. Now all we have left is the missing piece. I don't want to assume, but I think the idea is for one, I'm pretty sure Tommy is the one who did it. He did not sound, at least, I know I can tell, I can't tell someone's emotions through a telegram. But the way that he was sent, at least how he was talking, it sounds like he knows very well how everything went. The match. I don't think that Tommy and Eugene think of Eustace as a sister. That's what Eustace thinks. And they don't view her as a sister. I can't quite hear you. Can you speak and up? And they don't view her as a sister. And they don't view her as a we sister. We had you, Jake. God damn. You know, it's thunder that's really loud. Mother Nature really likes to try its hardest to ruin things. <laughs> you know, it's almost as ominous as this entire situation we're in. Mm, or so. Hi, Hello. Tommy. Nice to see you. Hi, Speedy. Oh, that's who you guys were. I saw you on the lake. Did you guys get stuck on the lake? Tommy, please talk what? to us. This is very important. Yeah, we're, we're, we're ready to talk. I mean, we're, I'm assuming everybody knows. Yes. Not really. In some sort of way, I guess. Not everyone, but we know. Uh, could we talk inside, maybe? You know? Yeah, of course. Welcome to our humble abode. I love it out here. I love this goddamn people. I just told Adelaide that... Like, I don't even think y'all know what happened. No, yeah, that's no, why we're we here. know she's dead. Yeah, she's dead. Because no one could get that damn golden revolver, we had to choose the other one. We only had a damn day left to do it. I tried. I told Mr. White to grab it. I told you, Jack, if you could. We can only do so much we're way out here. No, no, here. no, Tommy. I just I... wish y'all grabbed it. Stop you... now, please. We are not pointing fingers on why this went wrong. Eugene. She had the constitution of a lima bean, all right? That's what happened. All right, I Eugene told, told me that it was it was going to be a you and him thing, which is why I laid off of it. Yes, the idea is that, for one, we didn't want to go and step on your toes, and Scout didn't want to do the same as well. That's we because you said... opportunity, but yes. we were told not to. Yes. So oh, this was something he was he knew it was coming, all right. Gold knew that we were gonna take his gun. Alright, so now that we know that Miss Dixon is gone, um we have that option exhausted, so it's done. Now here is what I can provide to you. Around uh what it was it again, uh with Syria? Ten o'clock? Mm hmm So uh, unless someone has some sort of uh pocket watch on them. Around 10 o'clock in Van Horn, I know a good amount of people who work alongside Summers. I have to meet him there. It probably would be best if all of us go and we talk to them and let them know that this job is done. Perfect. That's my thoughts exactly. All right. That's all Sounds we can good. do in this situation. We were describing to figure things out I already had a feeling that, obviously, Scout did not do it. But I get why it had to be done, and I respect it. We all did it, okay? We were there together. Awful. This ain't on anyone in particular. All right, we all bear this burden. Correct. So, that's all we can do for now. 
We'll figure this all out. We've done the best we can. Out of all places, Van Horn. Hmm. Apparently I heard he was a king of Van Horn. So maybe his friends are just taking time out there. We gave him that name. What do you mean? Describe. We, we gave him the name Governor to scare everyone. And it worked. So you gave a deranged psychopath a title that is Listen, very Listen, back heavy. then it wasn't that bad, all right? Back then he was just vengeful. Now he's, he's off the rocker. It was our west. We did leave our west, but we went back because Eugene had his wife wanted to do her last caravan ride. It was her last wish. Dana? Yeah, she How did died. She, do it? she Wait, died what? last night. What? Excuse me? She's dead too. Okay, Jack, here's the plan, because we're here. Alright, everyone? Hold on. Alright, so here's a plan. What I want you to do is this. I want you to go and take this wagon and uh, make sure to place it right alongside the uh, inn that is there. Saloon or the inn? The inn. That's right up front. You should see it. Just place it there. Just stay here, Jack. All of you stay inside. All right. Roach, come on. Real quick, do you want us to follow you? What was that? Do you want us to follow you by any chance? No, way right here. There's a gentleman in the bar. Don't be spooked by him. His name's Klaus. Friendly kind. Oh, Klaus. All right. Yeah, yeah. Hmm, but we're going to go uh, send a telegram off to uh, Gavin. All right. I'll, uh, I'll be here. And uh, I have a couple of people alongside. Uh, apparently, they seem to have done some sort of job. So I just want to uh, let you know that. All right. I'm aware who they are. All right. Perfect. All right. I'll be right back. All right. We'll talk soon. Indeed. All right. See if you could try to move this up a little bit more. There's a gentleman in the bar by the name of Klaus. Don't know who that is. Yeah, we know him. Is got that nothing to do with this, so. Is that the Klaus that we know? Can we just get going, to... please? Well, I mean, move it up I'm a little bit more, it? Jack. Following just move men? it up. No, we're not. No, no, no. They're, they're going to uh, send a telegram to Gavin. Mr. Y. Yes, hello. How goes it? Been? It has been. Have you boys Sorry. been? Uh, we've been up to no good. Of course. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> of course, I wanted to have a conversation here with you. I do apologize. I brought some friends alongside with me, but... Um, so did I. It's understandable. Dangerous times we live in. Yes, that it is indeed. For sure. Of course, um, with that, uh, I'd like to go and give a moment of time because it seems like something that is rather very much more important is uh, at hand here. It seems like... Uh, Lovely group of people have uh, wanted to do something for your friend, Gavin. And uh, mm. I'd like them to tell their part of the story since uh, they might have gotten a job done for him. Well, I'm unaware of any uh, deal. All right. He's dead. Hold yeah. on, hold on, hold on. He don't even know what we're talking about. This is a waste of time. All right. Give us a second. You don't remember us? No. No, I do not. So, uh, in short, uh, can Tommy we have... Over here. Yeah, you I've was heard the name. That's Quickie over there in blue shirt. <laughs> well, if it makes you it feel any better... Uh, if it makes you feel any better, Mr. Gavin should be on his way to town shortly. All right. Perfect. It's a sensitive subject, so I'd suggest that we don't all talk about this here amongst the town. Well, it's entirely up to you, Mr. Weiss, if you want to hear want to talk to me. Anyone? What yeah. you asking, what? Mr. White? Oh, he's asking if anyone wants to have a, a chat with uh, the lovely Hicks here, or him. We look at the summers. Howdy. Well, you stick around here long enough, he should be well on his way. Apparently he's taking his time, so he will be here. Yeah, that's the whole thing. He's already establishing himself as the leader of this meeting by making everyone else to wait. That It's another tactic of his, all right? Well, it's like Mr. White said. He didn't say... That Summers was going to be here anyway. Because his boys don't even know what the hell we was talking about in there. Which we I thought was interesting. Him, and I have to give him this revolver. 
And that's what it is. Or does the leg support the back? No, I'm leaning on you. Can I get you anything? Um, uh, no, I think we're good for right now. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Oh, All right. Me. Mr. White, Mr. Snakes, uh, Speedy. Yes. I got a uh, telegram from Gavin. He said uh, he's busy at the moment, so feel free to stick around if you want, but he said he's not uh, going out of his way. Understandable. Mm. Do you think you could pass on a message? Um, sure. More than a message. Sure. Snakes has a gun to give you. What? Yeah, once Snakes get back from draining his lizard, he'll give it to you. What, before we leave? Nah, he's pissing right now. And no, I'm you saying, a... you want me to wait around until he's begging? Are you leaving right now? Um, well, shit, I don't know how long this fucking yeah, yeah, he's got going to take. Him a, give him a minute or two, right? All right, all right, we'll do. What? Which gun? What? He has Dolly Bitson's gun. Oh. There. Oh. Summer's ain't coming. Why? What What's mean? going on? He Summer's ain't coming. coming. He's busy. See? Told you. No, we'll just wait. <laughs> We're gonna wait here for guy. hours. It's gonna we be. We don't have to wait here. I hold on to it, and we'll move on. Okay. If you, you want to go up to the cabin, then. We can. I'll go get the wagon. Probably the best thing to do. But if you want any drinks or anything, might as well get them before you leave. 